What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Live the Dream Cube. <clears throat> oh, look. It's Team Jaybro with nine undefeated trophies so far, like you do. Got the dog cam going up here. Got a little Wallace in the upper right. And then you got Hunter in, in, the, in the major portion of the bed. And uh, they're too pure for this world, guys. But this cube has been fun so far. I've been enjoying all the obscure interactions and uh, wild supplemental set cards that you only find in things like Commander. Anybody I know? Disco Biscuits! <coughs> okay. Oh, we got Volcanic Island and a Sulphur Falls. We also got this Karuga and Prophet of Krufix. Those are both interesting choices. I almost feel like it's also, it could be Chromatic Lantern. God. There's so many directions to go. Well, how can I be a coward if I haven't decided not to do it yet? <clears throat> I feel like you gotta give me a chance to do it. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, don't auto-select that. I think it's Prophet or Chromatic Lantern. I think those are my... Is Godzilla the fun card? Like, I just don't think y Yudaro is actually that good. Alright, I'm gonna take Lantern. I'm gonna take Lantern because No Beats is, is peer pressuring me into taking Lantern. <gasps> the dig through time has the secret art dog art! No matter how deep the treasure is buried, Hunter can always sniff it out. <sighs> there he is! It's so awesome. Hunter, what are you doing, Hunts? You don't got time for me. Oh my god, I can't handle it. <coughs> if a permanent enter the matter field causes, yeah, I don't care about that. Um, we got 58 seconds. That's fine. That's a fine amount of time. I think it's just Gruel Signet. None of these cards are really compelling. I'm going to take Gruel Signet. Rakdos Signet. Sacred Foundry. Triome. Mana Confluence. Oh yeah, Zowie, Kazowie. I think it's actually Triome. I mean, it could be Mana Confluence, but I like that I don't want to have to take damage every single time from this thing, and we can fetch it with uh, fetch lands, so I think that's I think that's a valuable quality. <clears throat> Crumbling Necropolis. Okay. This is just a triome that you can't cycle. So, that's okay. I also like Dracuseth a lot. Yeah, I'll take Necropolis. Okay. Where are my five color? Bramble Sovereign, what do you do? Whenever a non token creature is in the no, I don't care about you. Godless Shrine, you alright. Each player controls a permanent named Bonders Ormond draws a card. Eh. 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 March? <clears throat> what are you saying? For, what's March? Is that even the last pack? Spider spawning. You know, I don't think so. I think it's actually migration path. Oh, Savage Land. <coughs> so what were we saying about Yorion? I like Green Warden a lot. I think Green Warden's pretty sweet. I think Firemind Vessel's probably decent for our deck. It's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like a Gilded Lotus that costs one less. I want to take Firemind Vessel. I don't think I want to go Yorian. Oh, Inspired Ultimatum? That's what we're talking about. That's going to let us live that five-color dream. Look at this lighthouse chronologist. 
<laughs> what is going on with this fucking thing? They're like, let's make it an extended art, even though it's not an extended art. Uh, what does this do? You can't cast non-creature spells. Um, that seems friggin' terrible. Rune Scar Demon seems great, though. I'll take a Rune Scar Demon. That's just a tutor. Ooh, Sulphur Falls? Okay. Man, Flare of the Hatebound is one of my favorite cards, dude. I used to try to brew with Flare of the Hatebound and Gristlebrand. And I would reanimate both of them with un Unbarrel Rites. Take a night. Sun Petal Grove? Deal. I want a gamer on this code Spire Ultimatum and that red enchantment that triples damage. Well, that's good. Glad you had five damage already dealt. Explosion expansion? Okay. Oh, uh, some big canyons, okay. Thunderblust. Spike bellows. More like sprite bellows. Why is this up here and not... Why is it in between these two lands? <clears throat> Tropical Island I enjoy. Y'all got any of them cards that make five color worth it? I think it's just Tropical Island. Subplant form is very good. Bounce their guy make a copy of it. I feel like it's got to be volcanic, though. Hollowed... F oh, Reflecting Pool. I like Land Visionary. Treasure Map's nice, too. Hmm. These are the decisions that we make. <laughs> I think it's Treasure Mac when we hope Hollowed Fountain or Reflecting Pool comes back. I feel like I forced you to play an archetype that is not being passed around. I'll see myself out if this doesn't turn. Oh no, you're sticking with me for the whole thing. You don't get to you don't get to force me into this archetype and then duck out. How dare you? Uh you may pay two if you do copy that spell. Why is Riku 2-2? Two -two? Jesus. That's terrible. Marsh Flats, what do you get? You get... You get Triome. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm still crossing my fingers that the... That the cards come around. Star of Extinction. Where's that Boros Reckoner when you need it? There's a Venser. I kind of like a Venser. <clears throat> Let's go with Knight of Autumn. I'll take a Vincer. Mole Drifter. Oh, big moles in the house. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or enchantment. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to pass a Mole Drifter. Don't say Boros Reckoner unless you mean it. <laughs> we still have a pack and a half, so I'm not too worried about it. Plus, I like the five color deck even if I don't have infinite five colors. Have you ever felt close to tragedy? I've been close to those who have. <clears throat> How about a Maelstrom Nexus? That's a five color card. I don't have it in me to pass this. So, I guess we're taking it. Never had to knock on wood. 
But I know someone who has. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing it. See, guys, you just had to wait, buddy. You just. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that was probably real loud. But nonetheless, we're taking Niv Mizzet. Do you remember that time you are like, none of the five color cards are coming? And I was like, bitch, please. Yeah. I'll just take Shepard. I think Shepard's good. Electrolyze? Yep. Taking it. The, the sad thing is you can't get three color cards with Niv-Mizzet. So you can't get Inspired. You can't get Riku. <clears throat> I kind of like Doomed Artisan. I have it in my queue as well. No, I don't. I'm considering it. It's just a really sweet card. It reminds me of like Bitter Blossom, except it's making um guys that can't attack or block until this guy. So at the beginning of your end step, you create a colorless sculpture token. Creature tokens uh, with this creature's power and toughness equal to the number of sculptures you control. So every turn you make one, but they can't attack or block while the Doomed Artisan is in play. So once he dies, if you have like five sculptures they're all five fives <clears throat> um have you ever felt close to tragedy i mean close to those who have <laughs> you know what i'll take field of the dead <clears throat> i'll take an azra odds maker Actually, yeah, it's fine. I don't even know what this card does. Three, three for four. One of my favorite artists ever. Whenever one or more creatures you control fight or become blocked, draw a card. At the beginning of combat in your turn, you pay three. If you do double target creature's power, that creature must be blocked if able. I mean, that seems fine. <clears throat> what do we got here? I like Azorius Signet. Yeah, I think we need more two drops. I think Azorius... Oh, but there's Golos. Oh, we're just going to take... Uh, the artist is uh, Magali Villanu. I, don't, I, I never know how to pronounce her name, but she's wonderful. She sent me a signed uh, Leave Old Playmat. Yeah, I'm going to take the Golos. I don't love it, but... I will take every Signet I see. I will also take a Solemn Simulacrum. It's not Verdant Catacombs, right? Verdant Catacombs can get Triome, Tropical Island... <clears throat> I'm just going to take the Solemn. We can probably find more fetches, but I think Solemn is really important. <coughs> oh, Breeding Pool. That's a good looking Breeding Pool, too. Unfortunately, blue... Eh, actually, we have a good amount of blue and green. Thematic compass is interesting. I just worry about how many <clears throat> um, basic lands we're going to have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's Breeding Pool. I'd rather play fewer basic lands than more basic lands. Uh, Beanstalk Giant could be good. Mystic Snake could be nice, especially because we can hit it off of uh, Niv Mizzet. Beanstalk on three does let us ramp right into five. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to take Mystic. Uh, but we're tapping out so frequently. I'll take Beanstalk Giant. <sighs> Fuck. Again, it's like, it's just how many basics are we having? That's the question. Like, do we have one of each? Probably. Yeah, let's take Beanstalk Giant. Uh, 
Woodland Cemetery seems good. <clears throat> Kiora seems fine. Especially because she untaps lands. Whenever you cast your first instant spell each turn, if it's tapped, copy that spell. You may, you may choose new targets with the copy. Whenever you copy a spell, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. That guy seems good. We don't have a ton of instants, though. So I'm probably just going to take Woodland Cemetery. Villainous wealth. What is this Black Blade Reforged art? That that's wild. That's some Richard Kane Ferguson right there. Don't you dare pass that Boros record. I knew. I was God. I was like, I hope, I hope Kurt doesn't see this. Dang it. I feel even worse because I passed Star of Extinction. I think it might be Rourke Star here. I mean, who am I kidding? I want to take the Villainous wealth. Yeah, I'm going to take the Villain as well. Who am I kidding? Rootbound Crag? I mean, I'm always going to take a land in these later packs that don't have much else going on. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, another Triome? <clears throat> Jeskai Triome is super nice with Inspired Ultimatum. Oh, Coalition. What is it? You in the game if you control a land of each basic land type and a creature of each color. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That seems a little ambitious. Although, if you have Maelstrom Archangel or Niv Mizzet, Niv does it alone for creature, but it doesn't do it for land of each basic type. I mean, you still have to play it, right? It's... Ravager Worm actually seems pretty decent in this format. Plus, it's, it, we can hit it off of uh, niv it. So, I'm going to take the Ravager Worm here. <coughs> Vana also seems great. We got busted up a little bit yesterday by Ivana. I'll take Oblivion Stone. I'll take this guy. Actually, let's take Kiora. Being able to untap your land is pretty... Oh, Rurikthar came back. I don't know if that Triome could be the last pick, but that would be amazing if it is. I do wish we had more two drops here. Spitting image? Meh. <clears throat> we do have a good amount of lands here, though. And I assume we're going to play all of them. This deck is a mess. This also costs 8 mana. I thought this cost 5. I didn't realize there was an extra 3 there, but... Oh, it's also a sorcery. For some reason, I thought this was an enchantment. That's weird, man. I don't think this card's any good, to be honest with you. I mean, it's interesting because we have Savai Triome and also Breeding Pool and Tropical Island. <clears throat> So if you get the trio in either one of these. Okay, so. Cut Doom Artisan, cut Nightmare Shepherd. <clears throat> Actually, Nightmare Shepherd seems better than Naith. Mm-hmm, 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 mm
That is the most even distribution of mana I have ever seen. Everything should be slightly even here. Alright, I'm going to need a friggin' sheet for this thing. White, blue, black, red, green, okay. White sources, naturally, we have uh, one, two, three, four, four. <clears throat> Blue sources, naturally, we have one, two, Marsh Flats, what does Marsh Flats get? Marsh Flats gets nothing blue. So one, two, three, four. Another four. Black, we have one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. Red, we have one, mm, two, three, four. I'm missing a pattern here. Oh, marsh flats. Did I, did I not did I not uh, include the marsh flats for a swamp? One, two, three, four. I did right. One, two, three, four. Yeah. But it also gets trial. So like, green. We have one. Wait, did I include signet for red? One, two, three, four. Oh, five red because of signet. Okay, green. We have one, two, three. No. Is red five? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, red is six. Okay. <clears throat> um, green we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Also six. Okay, that seems good. Um, and we get six lands. Okay, let's round one of this. Don't need another red. Oh, triple red on that. Triple red on the Inspire Ultimate, but we also have Chromatic Lantern, Golos, and Firemind Vessel. And Sunbaked Canyon can make two red if we need it. So I think that's actually okay. Plus, it's our only double red card. So I'll deal with it. Um, we have 10 and 10. So I think it's actually 2, 2, and 1. But we also need one more here. It's also 7. I think it's actually just 1 of everything. Plus an extra black, because we do have a double black card in Nightmare and Rune Scarred Demon. <clears throat> I think this is correct. I don't think we have any, any double white or any double blue, except for Inspired. So I think this is correct. 1-1-2-1-1. One, 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 one. They want two planes instead. I'm going to go two two of this guy okay <clears throat> let's see what happens also we're playing nightmare shepherd because it's very good with things like solemn it's good with golos like all these cards coming back mole drifter ravager worm rune scar demon pretty much any of these cards coming back is just just gravy I will mulligan this hand. I will keep this one, though. <clears throat> what are we sending back? Keep it. I'm going to send back Maelstrom Nexus for now. While it's one of the more exciting parts of the deck, it's also one of the, uh, let's say, one of the riskiest. <laughs> Guys, the shoes have been delivered. They're at the mailbox. How does Sunbake make two? Wait, it's Sun. You're right. I'm an idiot. I thought it was Prairie. I literally thought it was friggin' Rugged Prairie. Oh my god. I hate everything. 
from a graveyard onto the battlefield? Ugh, God. <clears throat> oh man, fish feet. I'm so excited. Alright, now we want to hit a land here. Any land gets us migration path, which is pretty exciting. Did I cut Coalition Victory? No, because I'm not a maniac. Nice. I'm impressing myself. Did I attack just for one? Wild. Grrr. Oh god, Golos, I have to put you on the bottom, my dude. We're trying to hit a land to play this 4-drop. So the question is... I think we just take it. I think we just risk it. God, we're so good at this game. Plains and probably another forest. Let's put let's put a bunch of cards that can't cast this. But we're one we're one basic away. Oh that's a big that's a big dude. No, don't like that. Oh, they didn't attack this time. That's interesting. Let's see what we got here. Kiora, huh? One, two, three. That don't impress on me much. Uh, 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 you gotta, not the time, but do you got the touch? Red, green. It's my lady. <clears throat> I mean, if they have a way to, like, kill this for two and then bring it back, that's pretty cool. Just kidding, it's not cool. It's decidedly uncool if they do that. Well, they're gonna dig for answers here. Oh, they kept one and put a swamp in the trash. I will not be discarding, or blocking rather. I don't know why I said discarding there. I don't think they can have any ninjutsu. Like, the only thing they can have is, like, ink eyes, if that's in the cube, and, like, that doesn't get anything, so. Three cards in hand. You kept one on top with Surveil. I just got a Karen haircut. The ultimate power is mine. That was an interesting. Hmm. Rune Scarred Demon. Oh, Rune Scarred Demon. demon. I think we'll keep this guy. What does it say when Conklin becomes untapped? I wish I had an answer for this. It's going to be real awkward taking like 11 next turn. Jesus. Uncastable demon. We have three treasures. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't ultimate him here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 
We only have seven. Yeah, but seven, one of them is green. That's a problem. We have red, float this into here, and then we have planes. So, like, we'll have red, red, green, white, and then three others. We actually might have been able to if it didn't play Signet, but the plan was to play Vana here. Six. We might just be dead. I might actually just have to play a friggin'. I might just have to play Mulder for the block. Oh, Chromatic Lantern would have been good. One, two, three. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit a land next turn, we can go Chromatic Lantern into Ultimatum. Yeah, it's pretty good. Two cards. They kill this. Yeah, it's pretty good. We go to two. <clears throat> Let's see what they put into play. They have one card in hand. Is it a big, fat, ridiculous idiot? It's pretty good when I'm at two. Oh, now they just kill us. Cool. Like they had to have they had to have choop so I can't block, and then they had to have exactly Sir Conrad to kill us and Doom Whisper on the board. Like, that's pretty amazing. Hmm. Sprite bellows might just be worth it at double red. I don't like O-Stone because it kills all of our things that try to enable our our strategy. Like I actually like this hand a lot because of treasure map, but I dislike it because of one land. God, Solemn and Golos. Yeah, okay. Let's... Well, you've never had mana issues in the past, so I guess today... I mean, I haven't had mana issues... Really. Let's get a planes, I guess? And we can get a swamp with this. We have a blue, we have a green. We 
we have a white source here, right? So, well, I guess we can get a swamp. I don't think it matters terribly. Oh, we only have one triome, so I do not believe Marsh Flats will get a, a second triome. That's fascinating. Night of Autumn. Sun Petal Grove. I kind of just want to thin the deck here. Could have played Island in case they play any sort of creature with a comes into play ability. And then we get to kill it before they get to Birthing Pond. Or they don't play anything. Get planes. Get an island. Thank you. See if we can play this guy. Green, red, black, white. This. Let's live the dream. Kretz, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Also, it's September, so you guys get some great deals on subscriptions. If you guys want to support the channel. Or if you guys are looking for some sweet internet security, you can check out nordvpn.org slash The link is down below in the description. You get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one free month. So check it out. Oh, wow. Is this what living the dream feels like? Guys, look, Field of the Dead. Doing its thing. One, two, three, four, five. So you can play Beanstalk Giant and hit a... Hit something. What's it gonna be? Oh, wow. F fantastic. Hit Ivana. Okay. That was a good turn, my dudes. <laughs> Oh, yes. We're doing it. So next time we can go Shepherd and Electrolyze, right? Black, black, colors, and then got blue. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're referring to Maelstrom Nexus. Well, you have to take Electrolyze here, unfortunately. Wait a second, this isn't a magic stream. There aren't hot single pop-ups here. <laughs> oh, Christopher. Give it time. Give it time. Valley of the Jolly Green Giant. Doot, doot. They're thinking. Heartless act, kill Niv. You got it. I assume you're just going to come in for a six. Ha. <sighs> Doom Whisper is pretty good with Birthing Pod because you can kind of set up what's happening. Mm. 
Well, they put two cards in the graveyard. So they don't know what's going on, right? What are they getting rid of here? What's happening right now? <laughs> okay, this is all. Yep, that guy's real good. That was a good hit. That was a solid hit. Given all that you can do in this kill, I wouldn't be surprised if we died somehow. I don't feel good about it. I found something fun and exciting today. That's the copy of Living Death that can be found in Zendikar Rising set boosters. Uh, that's the Living Death found in Mystery Boosters. Oh, that's confusing. What the fuck? So the only difference is the Planeswalker symbol, symbol moved a little bit. So they have Shriek Maw. Um, one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess we figure out what we can hit. Cascade. Okay. Yeah, between the mystery booster and the list boost, uh, the list living death, these don't have a different U at all. These are the exact same card. This, these these printings are exactly the same, except for the planeswalker symbol is a little shifted. Well, I was I wanted to attack, but I guess I, I don't know. I guess I did not get to. But then if they just take it, then I guess we could chump a zombie. I mean, I assume they're going to Shriek Mother Giant. Yeah, I can imagine the biggest frustration is having to, like, sort and, or and like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, inventory these cards and, like, list them for sale. Because, good lord, man. They're all identical. Like, it's, there's so many different printings and variations and set numbers and what have you. So they have three cards and a Shriek Maw. Okay, they're going to evoke this guy. They're going to kill my beanie boy. Oh, my beanie boy. Okay. He gonna come back. I'm gonna say yes. He's still a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, you're going to get another one back. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're going to get Heartless Act this time. Okay. Garden in the Valley. Oh, you're killing the Shepherd this time. 
Okay, I'm actually fine with everything that's happening here. I will take one damage. Okay, let's see what happens. Woodland Cemetery? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to put that on the bottom. We can only play one of these this turn anyway. Coalition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to put that on top. I'm not going to play Maelstrom Nexus yet. Maelstrom Archangel yet, because I don't want to... Oh, that was really good. So now they just don't have a way to kill us with Green Warden. Like, to... Unfortunately, we don't have a forest. Keep that in mind. We have Plain Swamp Mountain Island. Islands in the stream. One, two, three, four, five, six. I still... I don't need a mountain. This is a mountain. Um... I still have not opened my mystery booster yet. Control land of each basic land type. Is that true? I don't think so. No, Bert, so you just making stuff up? Unbelievable. <laughs> you caught me. Knew it. Oh, if you would draw a card. Okay. That's a litchy boy. Valley of the Jolly Green Giant. Brick, brick. Alright, it's two cards and you got a two mana spell here. Fiend Artisan, sure. Flip it! Kiora, huh? One, two, three, we play Kiora, we untap a land. <sighs> yeah, I actually kind of like that. So now we need five colors, so we can go one, two, three. One, two, three. Kiora. Oh, I guess we can I guess we have to have a green. Kiora. Gruel signet. And then we play Maelstrom Archangel. Two, three, four. Untap. We have black, red. Yeah, this seems fine. We'll use this as our green to get this. White, black. Draw a card. Tropical Island, that is our basic forest. Make two, two. One, two, three, four. <laughs> unfortunately, I think we just have to get rid of this, unfortunately. God 
paying seven is really rough though. I go to four. They have one, two, three, four blockers. They'll have four attackers. Yeah, I think it's. I think we still have to do it. Like we win the game next turn with coalition victory. If we attack with it, they get to block with Green Warden and then get back a removal spell like Shriek Maw or Heartless Act, which changes what we what look what we're trying to do here. So. Pray to it. Search my opponent's library for an exiled card that their shuffles the library and look at it and play that card for as long as it remains exiled. Okay. I don't think we have anything for four mana that can kill us. They already made us. They already got rid of Electrolyze. No, Green Warren's just five. Just an old fashioned five four. Just an old fashioned five for playing on the radio. Oh, oops, non black. They were trying to they played Shriekma and they were trying to kill the 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 Nightmare Shepherd. Oh, they didn't even attack. Oh, do we just win here? Is this is this really is this really happening? One, two, three. And we get to Cascade. They have one card in hand and one card that we... Oh, I'll play Chromatic Lantern. Sure. Oh my god, do we win the game? Oh my god! Coalition victory! Fantastic. What a... Woo! That was... That was nice. I thought that was game three, and I got really excited because this match has been taking a while. Good grief. I kind of like retrace. Because they have a bunch of creatures like Shriek Malls and stuff that we really want to take advantage of. Man, coalition victory. It was all worth it. I'm just over here trying to live the dream, guys.
I have to go make sure the show to show the shoes on the vid so I can I have to go make sure to sh oh make sure to show the shoes on a vid so I can see it on the YouTube. I might just make so <laughs> I don't know if I I mentioned this on stream I thought I did but I've been tempted to do a, a video series called Sh Stuff Frank Buys where I just like make short videos about all the random shit that I collect and I buy and then people can learn about them so we're gonna definitely get a planes here Archangel seems real good. The Megalodon Tooth. Oh, what up, Badger? I have not purchased it yet, no. It's still on my list. Oh, Coffin Queen, huh? This is actually a really decent... Um, What do you call it? That's what we're looking for. Field of the Dead deck. Oh, really? Mediocre Magic Man? You love alliteration? That sounds wild. Who saw that coming? Okay, so we have black, blue... So if we play a black, yeah, we have to play a red here. Or, or a tropical island. Hmm. So if we play Archangel, it's harder for them to deal with. If they have Choops, they get to use this. I'm gonna play this because it can't be killed by black. I can't shriek maw this. You can heartless act this and then reanimate it, which is just absolutely just so bad for us. But they didn't do that, so fingers crossed. Cross those fingeals. Oh god, bad things are happening. Island. The fuck? Stop it. Get some help. Okay, that's actually fantastic. Okay, so we're just gonna resolve this. Uh, you may cast a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. Well, that's good because I only have one spell in my hand. But I get to cast it for free, so I guess that's a thing. Thankfully, all four of these are unique lands, so. All right, ransack and swamp into the graveyard. That means they kept the good third card. They kept a card that's better than both of these. Uh, we have no creature lands, but I also don't think I've seen any in this cube. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to search for one right now. I'm going to search for creeping. Yeah, I don't think there's any in the cube. Maybe Mutavolt? No Mutavolt. No Mishra anything. Yep, I knew it was Birthing Pod. They're going to sack Coffin Queen to get a wrecked, uh, Ravenous Chupacabra. But which one do you kill? That seems fine. Next time we get to play Beanstalk Giant, make a 2-2 two -two and attack. Uh, yeah, I'll take four. Oh, 
Oh, well, that's pretty good. So they're at four? <laughs> Seems good. Plus we have a spitting image in the graveyard. Good gravy. Good gravy. My old Jess is losing her mind. They just went live on Facebook streaming something and maybe enjoy Sam. Oh dear. <laughs> That's a good one. Nothing to say, but it's okay. Heartless Act of the Vana. Okay. I will double block this guy. Oh, no. Oh, no! One, two, three. So we can play Lantern, play Land discard land what do we have we have these two as far as basics go let's play a mountain i guess now we'll play a swamp it's not going to matter eventually but <laughs> what do we copy though choops and then attack for Yeah, we're definitely copying tubes. We'll discard island because we have another island. We'll kill this tubes. Because they can't... They just die if they try to save it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. So we get rid of this guy because they can't pay four. Okay. <laughs> what? Thank you. What lethal line? What is he talking about? So like they've been super they've been super nice this whole time. Hey, how are you liking the cube? Kind of rubbing it in with the slow play. I'm like, oh, oh okay. I guess you've that's weird. I don't know what lethal line he's talking about. Like if I kill this, you just let it die, and then you can still block one of my two creatures and go to two. So you have you're not dead, you have four cards in hand. Like, I don't know what the lethal line is. Does anyone see the lethal line here that I'm just missing? Vana doesn't do anything. Maelstrom Angel doesn't do anything. So... Like... Like, you're giving me a hard time, but like... You don't, like... I'm not sure if they left. Like, did they just like say something shitty and then leave the game immediately? Because that's cool. 
Playing the giant earlier is definitely not the lethal line. That doesn't make any sense. Spitting image is definitely the play. I, I'm just, like, trying to figure out if I'm missing something. Like, do the lethal line for... It's not lethal. Like, I choops this guy. I attack you for two. Or attack you for four. You have a blocker. You take two, you go to two. So... I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> is the lethal line like knowing you'll fucking activate his ability to kill yourself? <laughs> like, it's only lethal because you want it. Like, it's not lethal. It's not a lethal line. It's literally a regular line that you go to two from. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. That's wild, dude. Nice slow roll, butt munch. <laughs> Love it. I'll keep this hand. Oh, oh, wow, that was unpleasant. <laughs> oh, man, everybody. Everybody going around the uh, the chat filter with memes is pretty hilarious. There's nothing worse than like being rude and just being absolutely wrong at the same time. You should do the lethal line this game though. I agree. Oh, that was a good draw. Um, I'll just play Trop now. Now, because Woodland Cemetery is going to come and play untapped. Man, Leovold would be the perfect three drop. Oh, what up, Edge? Um, yeah, like, I'm like, well, there was no lethal line. Like, you, you block, you, like, I kill, you just let the, the Lich die, and then you block one of my two twos. You go to two. So I'm like, it's, I mean, like, you just accuse me of slow playing when I'm like, I'm just literally playing the game based on you not being dead, so. Oh, I get to draw a card? For sure. That was a good... Do we get to just go Maelstrom Nexus next turn? I was 100%. I appreciate you coming in and and saying so, though. Because we were real confused. I was just like, there's no... I'm like, I'm looking for the lethal... I'm like, did I miss something? I'm like, granted, you go to two, but like, you still had five cards in hand. You have a bunch of mana, so... I mean... Oh, I see. You're just going to bounce my guy. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, Badger with the gifted sub. They've gifted 1,005 subs to this channel. That's a reasonable amount. Oh, or do we... Oh, do we Niv Mizzet Reborn or do we Maelstrom Nexus first? Oh, boy. I think we actually just Marsh Flats to get a, a Plains here first off. <laughs> oh, wow. It's gotta be Maelstrom Nexus, right? Like. Like, what's the point of playing this deck if we're not gonna Maelstrom Nexus, right? Plus, next turn we can Golos for Field of the Dead and make a 2 2. And it's gonna. And it's gonna. You know. Trigger the Cascade? Don't play Night of Autumn. Don't play any kind of like enters the battlefield, kill a thing. Okay. Gore Claw. It's fine. Badger is gonna badge. That's how he do. Yeah, I'll take four. Do we wealth for three and cascade for... No, because we can just wait. That just gets better. All the time, it just gets better. Um, One, two... So we can go Golos, get Field of the Dead, play a land. Hmm. 
three, four, five. Bad Javis here. Uh, have a good, have a good, have a good night and a good weekend, buddy. Um, that's fine because that's gonna make our villainous wealth even better. Oh boy, he says. Well, I don't have the highest power, but you know what? I believe in the dream. Stop triggering. All right. Well, if we can survive this turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, we can villainous wealth for seven, or we can just activate Golos. <laughs> Most people are shocked when they find out how bad I am as an electrician. <laughs> oh, Lord. God, it's just this constant stream of, of pride and disappointment at the same time. I've got nothing to say. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. You have nine mana. That's a good amount. Villainous Wealth for 7, Cascade for 10. My doctor told me I'm going deaf. The news is hard for me to hear. <laughs> Just stop it. Oh, God. I'll go to Banishing Light. Alright, well. I don't think we have a... Oh, we have a... We have a... Knight of Autumn. That's an option. Guys comes in, guy comes into the dentist's office. Doctor, I think I am I am a moth. Then what are you doing here? Your light was on. Why the dentist's office? <laughs> I don't even get it. Are they just going to blink Baron and... Yesterday somebody broke into my apartment and stole my limbo stick. Seriously, how low can you go? Jesus, these are all terrible. Uh, so what is Baron? It's any permanent creature or planeswalker? Oh yeah, I'm just jumping then. You're just gonna kill this guy anyway. <laughs> I'll just take three. In 1870s, Belgian postal workers from the city of Le I'll say Liège attempted to train 37 cats to deliver the post. They were not successful. Well, that's unfortunate. So you just don't do anything with this guy? I guess you can bounce one of your own creatures? That doesn't seem super exciting. Did they just not bounce anything? Okay. Um We can either one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to play the breeding pool because it gives us a guy. Thank you. Oh yeah, this is going to be. Let's go. This one. This one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And done. Cascade hit something good. Oh, oh. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, sweetie boys. Uh, what do we want? Haste? Yeah, let's haste him up. Uh, fight a creature I don't control. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy Jesus. 
Worm Coil, Crested Sun Mayor, and True Conviction. And we draw multiple cards. Holy fagolies. Well, this guy's got Double Strike and Life Link now, so that's cool. Welcome to my horses. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. And I gained four life. I played a land. Oh, boy. Give me that horse. That is not the highest, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Guys. Jesus. Well. Well, they're doing something here. I assume they're going to plan planar cleansing or something. We get a Golos if they do that. And we get worms. Y'all got any of them worms? Good morning, good morning. Yep, you got it. That's pretty good. Bruna, get back Baron. That's actually insanely good. Alright, this is an amazing recovery here. Baron bounces like Crested Sunmare here. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we're still okay. We get Golos back with Knight of Autumn. We still have really good attacks with Double Strike. draw a card from Baron. Yeah, that's a lot of things. This is a... I don't know where your badge is, actually, Badger. That's a good question. Where's my... Yo, where's my badge at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 mana. Possibly 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... We can actually Knight of Autumn kill the Banishing Light and then Golos. I think Swamp will make a Zombo actually now that I think about it. Venser ults at 8, yeah. But, I mean, we have Electrolyze in hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Five, three, and three. How muy poquino the Xbox Series S is? Does that mean small? Alright, we're going to go with these two. And then we're going to go with red, blue, and we'll hit a green over here. Gruel Sigma is actually pretty decent here because it lets us do more.
Oh wow, we hit a Vana and a Kiora. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we can go Shepherd and keep up one of these other ones. Let's do that. So what do we want? We want this one and this one and this one. So we can go you, 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 and you. And now we have add this for white green. Actually, we're probably just going to play Knight here. Get rid of Banishing Light. Get our Golos back, get another land, and then start threatening to activate Golos. Uh, let's get Triome. Also just going to attack with both of these at Venser. I mean, this is 18 life, so. Also, if we hit Coalition Relic off Golos, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 13 mana. If we hit one more untapped land... We can double spin Golos and try to hit Coalition Victory. Because we have, obviously, all of our lands, right? Yeah, these two make all the lands. And then we have this guy. And even if we don't have this guy, we don't have a blue creature outside of that. Dang it. Yep, that's fine. Hmm. Okay. I mean, going to 26 is pretty good. Is that Katie arriving home, driving on her hog? Yeah, she's, uh... She takes her motorcycle to work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at these two. Oh my god. I can't even fucking... My fucking heart, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Bigger dog camp? What are they doing? Exile a permanent you own and then return it to the battle. Okay, so you're getting this thing back? Sure. Well, that was that was sad. Oh, we can electrolyze our own Knight of Autumn to get a copy of it back and just kill this when it comes back into play, which is pretty sweet. We have six cards in hand though. We know one is Crested Sun Mare. Oh my god, I can do it on their turn to get an extra Nexus trigger. <laughs> you sent me that picture you took, right? How did you know I took that, Christopher? Can you see me? What does it look like when I do that? I'm like, over here, I'm like this. Okay, I guess, yeah, I guess you can kind of see that. Did your neighbors fix the fence? No, but we've been getting along better with them. Oh, Jesus. 
I don't actually know what you can get here that's decent. I guess you get Knight of Autumn and kill Golos. That's pretty good. Yep. Joke's on you. I gotta... Oh, we get another Golos, though, because of the... Oh, we get another Golos, and we get to search for another one because of Nightmare. Oh, man, this is fantastic, dude. That actually gives us the extra land that we wanted. Oh, boy. Uh, let's just get a Rootbound Crag, I guess. Oral th and Merbler, thank you guys so much for the resubs. Really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So we know you got horse in hand. Wow, that's wild. Look how many lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven lands. Why aren't they playing Crested Sun Mare here? I'm fascinated. See, the problem with doing Electrolyze on their turn uh, is that this will trigger now at the beginning of their upkeep. This is actually a solid, <laughs> a solid play here. Um, let's go red, green. And by green, I mean blue. I don't even think we can hit anything. Oh, treasure map. We can hit a treasure map. And we do. Solemn Smimulacrum. Yep. Destroy this thing. Thank you. Badger with the gifted sub, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. I appreciate you, sir. Okay, so now we're just going to spin the wheel, right? Like... So one... Is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Coalition victory one time off the top. Oh, we hit rune. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, do we have any basics left? Yeah, we have tons of basics left. Cast this. Mountain, island. Cast our own Venser. Can we just make our guys unblockable and win this turn? Okay, this is our library. We have seven cards. Holy Jesus. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Cost eight. That's sad. Uh, Exile target permanent alien. Creatures can't be blocked this turn. What do we got? One, four, five. What is this? Two, four, six, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eighteen. Nine, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three. We're three points shy of just absolutely murdering them. All right, so Venser, your face, your face. Venser, Venser. Let's 
I'm actually concerned with Settle because they didn't play their stupid thing last this turn. Yep. That's actually fine. Oh, we just got another one? I don't know if that does anything, though. Yeah, sure. Fight a creature we don't control. Doesn't do anything. Or destroy a land. Uh... I think none. I mean, it still goes to one, which is fine. Uh, even if they make their guys unblockable, it doesn't do anything against us. No, that Scattered Groves doesn't have... Does it have an activated ability? I don't think it matters. Okay, there's the Sun Mare. Be the Sun Mare you wish to see in the world. We still don't have a blue creature. I mean, if, if this guy dies, we have a creature of every color we have. Okay, so they're just tapped out. So we just win the game. We're going to have another coalition victory, guys. God, they're at 29. They probably feel so safe. So secure. Apparently, sub gifting badge not showing is an ongoing issue with Twitch, and no one will say why or how to fix it. That's interesting. I don't know how many subs you've gifted this month, but you're not even on the the top tier list. Oh, you're number four right now. That's probably why. Josh is number one, Superfritz is number two, Austin Floyd's number three, and you are number four, tied for number three. So that's probably why? Dude, Coalition, I said that earlier. I was like, I always thought this was an enchantment. Okay, you get rid of Bruna, and you get Bruna back. They know this is a cash trigger, right? Not an Andrew's Battlefield trigger? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, things are happening. So we just windmill slam coalition victory, victory right? What? That's weird. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Six, seven, eight, I guess we could. Oh, we just make our guys unblockable. I guess we win differently. Lethal. They have a bunch of, like, nerd creatures that are kind of annoying. I kind of like Oblivion Stone here, and we can just play around it. Let's take out Kiora, play Oblivion Stone. Yeah, that was game one. <laughs> Oh boy.
God, do we even play the the signet? Ugh. I think in a late game position, it's it's very possible that like we just don't care if we blow up all our stuff. Please acknowledge lethal. <laughs> oh, Tropical Island was a juicy draw there. Because now we can beanie for a white source, or we can just solemn next turn for a white source. Oh, that card's real good. We're just going to kill that thing on the spot. And I'll play Rupa and Craig. Eh, play Rupa and Craig. If we had a white source, we can Maelstrom Archangel. They did nothing. Well, we did hit a white source. Still gonna go to planes here. And play Triome. Yeah, okay, this is pretty good. One, two, three. So next turn we can actually Beanstalk Giant. And then play Land Maelstrom Archangel. Oh, I think the game just ended. Um, so we can go like this. And then one, two, three. Blue, green, red, white. Yeah, we're going to get a Swamp. Or we have a Swamp. Doesn't matter. Maybe get a second island. Blue, green, black, red. Yeah, that works too. Green, black, red, white. Archangel. One of my tasks before for work before end of day is to send out an invite for an Among Us get-together. That's pretty sweet, actually. Okay, you got it. Pretty, pretty, <coughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good. Golos next turn would be insane, because you can go Golos, land, migration path. Okay. Our hand is not great. Actually, I'm really tempted to just run this Solemn Simulacrum out there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. Oh, rewarded. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Jesus. And we have no basics left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands. 13 lands. We can activate Golos. Probably do something else as well. Sure. That's actually decent because we can Oblivion Stone and then kill all their things and keep our Golos. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Guys. Oh, Thassa, Brago, yeah, <laughs> True Conviction, Worm Coil, Gore Claw, Thrix, and Brago, guys. Oh my god. Jeez. 
Our deck's pretty good. Our deck is pretty sweet. Oh my god, dude. I'm actually really enjoying this cube. What are we what is the what is the thumbnails? Coalition victory? It's gotta be coalition victory. What was the last one? I don't even remember what we drafted. Nickel Bolas? When will this be on YouTube? Uh tomorrow. Probably tomorrow morning. Wow, that was insane, dude. Not gonna lie, kind of happy I pushed that lantern. Also kind of happy you aren't a coward. Me too, buddy. Me too. Every day. Won't someone think of the children? <laughs> oh, man. God, these dogs. I can't even handle these dogs right now, dude. Have you heard anything about Raised by Wolves on HBO? I have not. Alright. Let's do it. I'll keep it. The only thing about Inspired Ultimatum is that in this deck it's like a 9 mana spell because you're always going to have like basics that don't let you cast it. It's not TV. It's HBO. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty funny. Firemind Vessel actually does help us cast this inspired ultimatum for sure. Oh, they're doing some things. Sure. You got a vizier. Oh, uh, actually, if we draw. So we have white, white, blue, blue, red, red. If we draw another red or another blue source that comes into play untapped, we can Inspired Ultimatum. Fascinating. And now we can Ultimatum. Target player gains five life. Target player gains five life. Choose any target, you. So this is going to be red, red white, blue, red, and then you need white and red. Remember when I was talking about this being nine mana? Well, you know, sure. Untap that, put a counter on it. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh boy. Coalition thing. Probably ditching a swamp here. Next turn we can play Rune Scar Demon. Oh, we have two. We have to discard two cards. It's unfortunate. Uh, we have a forest here. Yeah, we can get rid of these two. This and Breeding Pool let, makes it so that we actually just have all the lands for Coalition Relic. So next turn we can actually go Triome Rune Scar Demon. And search up like a Niv Mizzet or something. Oh, we don't have two black. We can't do that. I lied. I guess we could do it next turn. We could just do this now and then do the other thing next turn. One, two, three. Demon. It's a demon. Yeah, Fireside makes second black, but I couldn't play Triome and still cast this guy this turn, so. Um, oh god, Villainous Wealth, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
God, there's so many cards we can get here. Uh, we can't victory next turn because we do not control a creature of each color. Otherwise, that would be really, really good. Um... I feel like it's just villainous wealth, to be honest. You know what's you know what's the the best is attacking with Maelstrom Archangel and casting Coalition Victory off of it. I kind of do like Golos here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to get Golos here. I think Golos is just too good. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of options, but, like, I want to play a game that assumes the creature might die. Dig through time seems good. Okay. <laughs> God, these dogs, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Golos getting field is also very good. Oh, this card's interesting. I, I think I might have misinterpreted this. It's nice that you put a counter on it and add the mana. So, like, you tap it to put a counter, but then you also get the mana. So, it's not one or the other. It's not like put a charge counter or add the mana. You know what I mean? Ral Zarek. Huh. One. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of mana. This thing makes a lot of mana. <clears throat> Uh, this is a mana artifact from Commander. Oh, I just killed my Firemind Vessel? <gasps> oh, Snoopies! One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana? I guess we're going to hit Ral and see what happens, right? Oh, wow. That's insane. Never didn't have it, I guess. Oh, we can play. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Sure, let's do that. Two, three, four, five. There it is, my ba my badge. Are you just gonna counter this? <laughs> oh boy. I like my first play better. Interesting. Oh, Night of Autumn seems banging. For five. Well, let's get in there for six. Oh, Night of Autumn was such a good draw there. Gets rid of their empowered auto generator. I also wish Ravage Rome could just eat any any dude 
Okay. Sure. <laughs> For whom the bell tolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is lethal on board. I'm sure they got a way to kill something or draw a bunch of cards here. This is pull from tomorrow? That's pretty good. Dominate. Okay. Well, that's fine. Does that any any color? Of any one color. Okay, cool. That's fine. That is unfortunate. Okay. Prophetic Bolt of One Zombie. I mean, also, if we can top deck a Venser, we can blink our own Golos to get it back. It's pretty good. Man, this card gets out of hand, mana wise. Nexus of Fate. Wonderful. Well, they have no cards in hand. Okay, well. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you're t oh, you have no cards. Oh, boy. And we have Muldrif for Ravager Arm. Migration Path. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's likely that we'll hit a land off of this, right? Two, three, four, five. And I have no cards in hand. Uh, we need a 1-1 counter, otherwise it does. Forager Room fights a creature. Because they're getting actually surprisingly close. They have black, red, blue, and this is either white or green. So they're getting like surprisingly close to just activating a Golos. I feel like this is probably game. Yeah, I was like, against the red-blue deck, I really don't feel like this is... So they're playing a bunch of nonsense spells. Yeah, I think Rorikthar is actually probably decent here. Also, Expansion Explosion might be good, too. I think Villainous Wealth maybe can come out. And then we just play it. We just 41 it. Yeah, I'll keep the sand. <clears throat> um, yeah. 
Night of Autumn smoking your search for Azconda seems pretty decent. Sure. Is Rorkthar good if you have a 50 feet? Yeah, because they have to deal with him. <laughs> it's just a 6-6 six, six that they take 6 damage from every time they cast a spell. So, like, unless they can deal with it, they're just going to get smoked. Like, if you have a Rorkthar on board and, like, you can't cast any spells, it doesn't matter because they're just going to die. Unless they deal with Rorkthar, like, they're just dead. Plus, as a red-blue deck, you're going to have to probably cast multiple spells to get rid of a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, 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 that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Wow. Juposhi, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Long time, no snee. So, I'll just play a black here. One and one. Okie dokie, blue, red, this one. Well, that's a good one. Man, see see the truth into Snapcaster, see the truth. Bazorples, my dude. God damn it. I'm trying to check something and it keeps opening. Jaya. Add three to cast instant or sorcery. Thank you got you. it. Okay. Collective Defiance that. Punk Boy RD, welcome back. Thanks so much for the reset. Welcome back. Five, five, six, six. So, I think we just try to live the dream and play Maelstrom Archangel, right? Uh, red, blue, green, black, white. Because, like, if we just get to connect with this, we get to play Inspired Ultimatum and cast Golos? Discard up to three, then draw that mini. Okay. Seems fine. Are they just going to bounce this? Oh, they're just digging? Oh, wow, that's insane. Because they only have three mana up, and whatever they do, we can expansion explosion it. But I don't know if that's great, but... Rurikthar can't be countered, right? Christopher, can Rorikthar be countered? It can be countered. Uh, 
Okay. One, two, three, four. We can just, just inspired ultimatum for free. Shooting one of these. How much damage can we deal? This is 10. Uh, choose target player. Target player gains 5 life, sure. Or you can 15 them with the expansion. How can I do that? Um. That's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, no, it's four or less. Oh my god, I was like, that's insane. Cast new since we're on an Instagram copy and choose targets for the new copy. <laughs> Have you played land? No, not yet. So we can Golos and make a 2-2. Two -two. I'm just trying to figure out what the play is here. Explosion deals damage, but um, we can only deal two. What are you saying right now? Yes, yeah, as Angel is dealt damage, and we're casting Inspired Ultimatum for free right now. Um, discard three cards. I'm just trying to figure out which one is, is worse for us. I think it's actually Ral because if they have like fiery confluence, it's pretty bad. Seems okay. One, two, three for Kiora, then we have four left over. That doesn't seem great. I think it just feels a tireless. I mean, like, I'm worried about Fiery Confluence. I guess they can't copy it. They can go kill Tireless Tracker, deals four, but then we still get Maelstrom Archangel, so. One, two, three. Oh, um. One, two, three. Lantern. Forest. Uh, less damaging way. And, uh, let's actually add black. Uh, black, green, and black shepherd. I mean, I'll have to discard. Oh, you thought Cure Shepherd? I did. I did Chromatic Lantern Shepherd. I, Cure Shepherd works too, though. Both are netting us one mana. Seven mana. Star of Extinction. Next is a fate. Okay, sure. Well, next turn they do get to copy something, which could be bad. They can also ultimate this. We do have lethal on board and in hand, though, so fingers crossed, I guess. My way does work, but your way draws us a card, so. Okay, so they're not copying something. How many fingers crossed? Uh, 
all possible fingers and I'll even cross my thumbs. So six, six pairs, five pairs. Match three game, two up a game. That is correct. Oh, sh why didn't... I'm actually surprised they didn't copy that. Okay, they did. Eh. Gang signs. It's true. Okay, well. So they have one extra turn so far. Deals 10 damage to a target. That's fucking awesome. I ain't even mad at you, I guess. Wow. Wow. That was... something. Hmm. I'll leave this guy in and take out the Vana, maybe? No, Vana seems great against them. Um, let's take out Ravager Worm. Uh, keep. Like, this hand is not super great, but treasure map really kind of fixes it. That was like the end of every DBZ fight. Wow, you're right. God, you're so right. This is nice because we can actually Beanstalk Giant during our turn and then use the land we get to, uh, to treasure map. Thank you! Our five months of emotional abuse. Arctic Avenger, thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Welcome back. Oh, are they missing a third land drop? No, they have a crumbling necropolis and a lighthouse chronologist. Island? Doesn't do anything. I'm going to bottom it here. I'm just going to draw naturally. Chromatic lantern. One, two, three. Could just play Venser and plus Venser by two. It's probably good to have Venser on board, especially if we're just going to Rune Scar Demon eventually. Uh, Exile, a permanent you own. Planes. And we can still treasure map. That's pretty good. This guy coming at me? So aggressive. They can put him up to level 4 just this turn alone. 
Oh, but they did not. That's fascinating. Swamp bottom. Solemn? I'll keep it solemn. Oh, beans. One, two, three, four. Solemn man. Solemn man. Take me by the hand. Uh, let's get an island. I wonder if they're going to try to... I wonder if they're going to try to level up at the end of their turn. No, they're going to cycle this. Okay. It's not super impressive, but... I don't know what you're doing with the other three mana. You did nothing. You didn't level this guy, but you also didn't use the three mana. Level up is... In yeah, level up is sorcery only. That's why I was wondering if they thought they could level him up. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana right now. This works for lands for us, but not for creatures. If we... Oh, this is 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 11. We need 13. Thank you! <laughs> didn't do anything that doesn't actually do much because we don't have that many lands but it does cycle Sacrifice and draw right now. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure, we'll just play around. We'll play around sensor. I have a feeling they have the four mana like counter a spell one. Yep, that's what I was assuming. Exile this gentleman. Thank you. Bring it. Oh, we just get the ultimate Venser next turn. Yes. Last basic in the deck. We can cycle this at the end of turn. Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub to MTG out. Check! Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Welcome back. God, these dogs. My heart is very full right now. That was actually one of the cards I was afraid of, Dominate. Dig is fine when you have two mana left over. 
There's no, there's no, like, there's no turn, extra turn you can take here. I need to take a little break after this one. This one's a long one. What does Venser's ult do? Uh, you get an emblem whenever you cast a spell, exile a permanent. Oh my god, are they just letting us untap? Snap emblem. Oh boy. One, two, three. Kiora. Uh, exile your land. They, they, there's no way they went through this, right? Even if they counter the spell we're playing, like, they still just... They have two floating? Alright, let's go to next turn. Let's let's make you use it or lose it. Okay. Oof. That's actually better than Maelstrom Nexus here. So one, two... Yeah, we can just un... Did we use this already? Yeah, we did. So you have to go white, blue, black, uh, red, green, Niv, Mizzet. I think they just conceded. <laughs> Venser Ultimate, my dudes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna open this on the stream. If you guys haven't done so, definitely check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore if you guys are looking for a sweet deal on some internet security. And uh, you get 68% off a two-year subscription plus a month free. NordVPN. It's a great it's a great deal with a great service. You can also check out manatraders.com. And you'll get 20% off the first three months with the link and promo code down below. And they have an awesome subscription service as well for Magic Online. I am uh, I'm pretty stoked about this last draft. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.